Now, many of us charles especially in kzn uh, strongholds like chatsworth and phoenix have a good laugh at the black people at their expense because of their poor understanding of the english language and uh, it doesn't help them much also that they mess up the he and the she <laughs> like my gardener robert um, a few months back, he was looking visibly upset, uh, you know, something was worrying him. So I asked him, Robert, what's wrong? And he goes, Ash, my son, sir, my son. I said, what's wrong with your son, Robert? He says, she haven't got the shoes, sir. <laughs> you get my point. And this not understanding or not being able to communicate properly in, in another language creates comical situations. Like, let me give you an example. I was having a function by my posy, right? Like a birthday party. Now, you know you've got to buy lots of minerals, right? White people, mineral means cold drink, right? So, uh, checkers had a special on the red mineral and the green mineral, only for nine ninety nine. So, I took all my family and we went, there's two per customer. So, we got about uh, 50, some odd, two liters and we brought it home. But here's the thing when you're having a function at home. You know, there's not enough space to keep the two liters. So you could put some in your fridge, then you put some in your neighbor's fridges. And that's the time you wish you wasn't fighting with your neighbor about something stupid like his dog shitting in your yard. Because really at that point, you could have used his, his fridge space. And so I bought these uh, two liter cold drinks and I couldn't put them all in the fridge for the function. So the morning of the function, what I did is what we, what we all do. I got out some big baths. I put the baths out there and had the cold drinks. The idea was to get some ice and put all the cold drinks in, in the bath. And uh, I took the cold drinks out and I called Robert. I said, Robert, I'm going to buy the ice. Um, in the meantime, while I'm gone, take all the mineral and put them in the bath. When I come back, we'll put the ice. He said, okay. So I went to the BP shop. When I got back half an hour later, I got the shock of my life. Shock, I get I saw all the empty two liter bottles lying on the floor. Robert took all the red mineral and green mineral and he put it in the bath. <laughs> now, guess that food punch. Right after me. But here's the thing you know, we can laugh and have fun at their expense because they can hardly speak our language. But here's the thing they can speak their language and half of our language. We can only speak half our language and almost fuck all of their language. And for many of you, especially in KZN, Durban and Chatsworth, who think you can speak Zulu, let me tell you quite frankly, you can't speak Zulu. And this is not Zulu. Robert, 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 come here, Robert, right. Now, Robert, you see Alobero. Bring Alobero, right. Take Alobero, push Alobero. Take Alobricks, put Alobero, push Alobero, pack Alobero, yeah. Keep Alobricks. When I ask, that, my friends, is not Zulu. Tondala with the masala.